Hello everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel here at Pink Peppermint Cards. Today I'm going to be sharing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing the Two Sheet Wonder by Mojo Monday. And this is the printout here. And I will have all of this listed on my blog and also in the description box below. But I really wanted to pull out the oodles of pattern paper that I have. This one is an old one from Dougal the bug it is the milk and cookies from quite a few years ago but i collect these every year and i never use them and i recently watched jen from scrap beaner creations do this type of tutorial with a different paper pad and you basically take two sheets of your paper pad and you make some three of these cards which are sketched on the left there uh, here you can see i'm just lining that up and just working out. So you do have to be careful because you have to make your first cut in the right place, which is on that sketch. And then looking at the measurements on that two sheet wonder sheet, you cut your paper accordingly. Be careful because if your paper, your pattern has a certain orientation, you will need to make sure that you're happy with the way it's going to be cut because some patterns can't be turned on their side so just bear that in mind when you're making your cuts the sketch that's on the mojo monday website is slightly different from the measurements i've used because their paper pad isn't six by six it's six and a little bit some paper pads have a little bit longer edge so if you want to use the exact measurements i have and your six by six paper pads then check out my blog because i will have the measurements that i've used over there so here you can see i've got all my a b c and d pieces i'm just having a little fiddle around here of how i want them to look these are the three different sketches that i've shown on the screen as well and i have pulled out a ton of cardstock some of the peel offs by love from lizzie because christy marcott has also made two sheet wonder videos so check out her as well i'll leave links to both jen and christy's youtube channels below here are my measurements and my, basically my prep work. I will have these on my blog as well if you're interested because like Christy, I do like to mat the layers. So there are some, the measurements are slightly bigger um, to mat the layers. But again, I use an extra eighth of an inch on all of the measurements. Everything on my blog, if you want to use the exact measurements as I am doing. So now this is the matting layer for the A panel. This is going to be my first card, which is sketch 533. And this is a really nice cardstock, one of my more speciality cardstocks. And when I do that, I do like to cut out the middle so that I've got no wastage because most of that paper is going to be hidden. So now I'm coming in with my little B or, my, or C. B and C are exactly the same size. And this is going to be my D piece, layering that on top. I love this project as well for using up loads of scraps in my scrap box. And these colours are just right up my street, so I really enjoyed making this. And these layers are going to be laid on top of each other, so I add some extra cardstock underneath to help everything lay flat. I know Christy does this in her videos, but I've also been doing it. I do it a lot with my images as well when I'm making scene cards. I do like everything to lay it flat. And this panel here is not from the paper pad. This is just a piece of white cardstock that I'm layering up. And this is what my images are going to be put on top of. Again, adding some more little scraps of card to make sure everything is flat and even using liquid adhesive for the majority of this project. And that panel there measures, let's see, two and three quarter inches by two inches. But you can make that any size you want to. So now I'm moving on to one of the other cards. This one is going to be sketch 535, which is going to have the circle die cut on it. So now I've laid down my A panel. I'm coming in with my B, oh no, my D. This long skinny one is the D. Using liquid adhesive does give a little bit of wiggle room. Popping some more scrap card on the back 
and lining that up. Figuring out where to place them. Nothing has to be exact. These are just inspiration. So now I'm using two circle dies. One is slightly smaller than the other. The larger one is a lawn fawn stitched circle die and measures two and a quarter inches. And the smaller one is from Time for Tea Designs, Circle of Love die set. And that circle measures two inches. So I have got a slightly larger border all the way around the edge on this matted layer, but I don't think it matters too much. So securing that down with liquid adhesive. And again, that is where my cute little lawn fawn critters are gonna go once they're on top. Now for these are the two B and C or C and B. They're both exactly the same size. I just flipped them over, secured them together with a bit of tape because that just makes it easier to mat these onto that piece of pink cardstock. Now for that join in the middle, I'm using one of the Love From Lizzie Peel-Offs. This is the only time I'm using those in this project, but they are really pretty and I love this glittery sparkly one. I'll have links down below in my description box. I've cut a piece of red cardstock and a, another piece of plain white cardstock that is going to be measuring two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. Then layer all of that on some more red card. So those are my three sketches all put together and I really wanted to pull out the Santa in the Ho Ho Holiday stamp set as I haven't used him yet on any cards or any videos. So for this Santa, I am using my R30 markers. It's a really nice pinky red and I thought that matched really well with the pinky red on the patterned paper. So colouring in Santa here. Then I'm coming in with some C markers for his hat, pom-poms, and some of the trims on his coat and the cuffs. I'm also using the same reds for Mrs. Claus or Mrs. Santa, and we are using the same cool grey markers as well, keeping everything very easy and keeping the colours very similar. And these pinks are the R80 markers. Again, thought they went really well with the candy cane patterned paper that I used on sketch 533. And coming in with some warm grey for her hair. I did come in with some quite dark, I think it was W6 in the end. I kind of wished I'd left it at W4 as my darkest shade but that's just my personal preference. I kind of think I should have left her hair right here, but yeah, went a bit, a bit too dark. Just brought that color down a little bit too much. I lost some of the definition in the streaks. Coming back with Santa here, I'm coloring in his beard, just adding a little bit of shading, darkest around the edge and coming in lighter towards the center. Also adding a bit of that W to his mustache. Some nice dark C markers for his belt and I come in with some Y26 for the belt or the buckle. These are my go-to skin tone markers, E15, E13, E11 and E00, although I don't think I actually used E00. There's not a lot of space on these little images. Some pink for the cheeks and that's Santa. And Mrs. Claus finished. I thought I would show you the colouring of this sack. This is Santa's sack and it's going to go in the back of the sleigh on one of the cards. I believe that's sketch 534. Some E20 markers for that and a bit of red for that ribbon around the top. I sometimes really struggle to colour bags, baubles, anything round I struggle with. So I do like to include it in my videos if I can. Colouring in that ribbon here. And then finally for sketch 535, I coloured up the little elf from Holiday Helpers. Same red colours and have got him coming out of that box. I taped him down and cut a bit out of the top to help him stick out the top. And now I can put together my sketched cards. This um, Distress Ink is in Festive Berries and I just put a really light layer. I saw Jen from Scrapina Creation. She used some Distress Inks to 
ink up the panel behind it just gives a little bit more interest to those white panels i did exactly the same for all three of these card sketches i've pulled out the pretty holiday wishes stamp set from my favorite things and i'm stamping the merry christmas sentiment in versa fine onyx black ink and for the little elf poking out the box, I did use a little cut apart from the doodle bug paper pad. This one reads season's greetings. And I really like how that looked in the end. Wasn't sure I'd like the cut apart, but I think that just really finishes it off nicely. And now I'm securing all my sketches down to a two sized white card bases popping a little bit of Nuvo Aquashim pen over the top of all of my images, really going for it with the sparkle now. We're so close to Christmas. And a little bit more extra to give a little bit of shimmer. I'm adding on some tiny little dots of glue and these tiny little red stars. These are just from my stash. I've had them ages and I thought it was time to pull them out and pop them on a card and try and create as many more Christmas cards as I can. We're not long to go now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the blog. All the measurements and information will be over there if you want to create something similar. I really hope it inspired you to get that paper pad out and enjoy your patterned papers and not hoard them like me. And I really look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.